What's good YouTube? It's your boy Alphanic back at it and today we ain't gonna do a video this time. Nuh uh today we're gonna be doing story time. Yes sir. And if story time goes good, I might turn into a series. So hit that like if you like it, and you're not, at least you're reacting to it. Anyway, today we're gonna be making a story about oh Lala. Lala Palooza. If y'all don't live near Chicago area, y'all probably don't understand. Anyway. I'm not saying y'all don't. There's lots and lots and lots of music festivals out there, and I'm dying to see what they do. But all I know is, I went this year, I'm definitely going next year, and I'm putting staying. I can't even talk right now. I'm laying this one on my wrist for a whole damn year until the next one. Until the next one. Until the next one. Until I literally have five of these until 2025 and i'll tell you guys about the journeys so let's kick it off with lala now lala was bomb let me just say that it was literally bomb hold up let me put some music on just to not bore you guys shout out to vex ento i'll put his link in the description his music is on point with story time. Anyway, today, it is what? It wasn't even today, it was Thursday. But it was not too much crazy, but it was crazy. There were bars everywhere. I wanted to see Steve Aoki, I did. I'm like, it was a great experience. But I'm gonna just take you to the beginning. So here I am literally trying to have trouble, literally trying to find parking. I found parking in the farthest section of the door and I'm like, nah, I need to park somewhere else. I'm like, so at least I found the hit, the underground parking lot, at least that's something. So I'm like, mm, okay, how much is it gonna be tonight? Come to my, come to my surprise, it wasn't even expensive for parking. But it was a little absorbent, I ain't gonna lie. But come on y'all, it's literally half a hundo. So, let's see. I was coming up, I see a lot of people selling their Lollapalooza wristband. Now I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna get that. I'm gonna get that straight up front. I literally paid 150 bucks for this. I'm not gonna get some from a person off the street, let me tell you that. Because you already know it's either fake or it's either scam. But if it's like merch or like a shirt, maybe. But there are rarely any people with shirts out there. So it was like a long line just to get one of these. Just to like register for to get these. Because I didn't get mine. I just got it like the week before. So it was a long line in the wristband line. Then after that, they, it turns out you can use this for most of your purchases. And I'm like, oh shit, Bob. Anyway, I'm gonna be swearing as much as I can today because I already put $5 in the, $5 in the swear jar. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can literally curse like 20 times only just for this video. So, already used one, let's go. Now, how should I put it? Let's say like, you're basically, you're literally at the front door, you're literally at the gate, you're literally, this, remind you, this is my first time. This is my first time going to Lala. So I'm like, I have no idea where I was going. Wait, why is my tongue blue? I'm just kidding. Okay, now I was, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where to go. I was thinking to myself like, okay, let me go to the baseball field. So let's see how that goes. Then next thing you know, I'm just hearing like mostly Christian music and I'm like, okay. I ain't saying nothing's wrong with that. But all I know is when's the good stuff gonna come down, come in later on. So I'm like, okay, it's gonna come on later on. Okay, let me check out the festivities around there. There was a cupcake venue. I don't know why. 
there was a full ass venue just for taking pictures. Like if there was Sunny at the Beach, Lifeguard style, drink it with friends at a bar. I don't know why they have pictures for that. Um, what else? Oh, and a sub, almost a submarine, like under the sea kind of setting. And I'm like, wow, they really go all out, la la. So, note to myself, I'm just literally, I'm just literally like, um, oh, this is my song right here. Anyway, so I'm literally going to the, to the crowd, like where the, it was, Perry and Solana, did I say that right? Perry and Solana. It was the Perry and Solana stage. The T-Mobile stage was right over there. That's where Playboy Cardi was. And I'm like, do I wanna listen to Playboy Cardi? I mean, I listen to a few of his songs, but I'm like, Steve Aoki's over there. So I'm like, mm -mm. So, I'm literally at the um, Perry and Solana stage. Everybody's coming together. I'm like meeting new people. I'm like every everything was getting lit. Let me say that there were bubble machines pooping out happy faces, stars, and I'm like, oh, this is nice. So I went into the um, I went into the mosh pits, not like the real mosh pits yet. But let me say, I was in control of the mosh pits because mostly I was literally the one starting them. I was just saying, open it up, open it up, like how Trap Scott does. So I'm like, okay. Then everything opens up. Then every, then next thing you know, the moment that beat drops, all hell's breaking loose. No one's safe. Like, let me tell you, I literally got, okay, so I got, bruises on the side of here because a lot of people were kneeing me to the point where I'm just like they're jumping way too high and they're just like way too crazy but then again it's a music festival be expecting that to happen now oh, oh man it was like two or three mosh pits that's when the crazy stuff happened so after that third mosh pit, I was literally like, everybody's making a circle, doing some dances, and I was doing the best I can. I wish I had videos out there because this is where the crazy stuff stuff's gonna happen. This is why I can't make the videos. Okay, so how do you say when you're in a mosh pit and you have your belongings with you? And I'm think thinking to myself, okay, this. It ain't nothing gonna happen in mosh pit, so I'm just gonna keep it to myself because I don't trust these lockers. Come to my dumb ass self. I literally have my, where was it? Hold on y'all, let me get my pack. Let me show you what I'm talking. I have this on. Yes, basically a Prime Day from Amazon. So, it was, my first time so I'm like hey nothing bad happened so then next thing you know the crazy stuff happened because I've seen literally six to eight people's driver's licenses on the ground and I'm like oh no 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 this can't be it this can't be happening so me being good to myself I don't know why I tried to pick them up I got not knocked like that, not like with my with a fist, but like need. Like imagine hitting you square on, and I'm like, oh Jesus, I can't even walk straight. And I'm like, oh Jesus, let me just sit down real quick. I found, I made my way to the tree, and I'm like, oh man, my head hurts. And I'm like, I hope I didn't get a concussion, but I, then again, I'm like. Hey, this is my first. This is my first music festival. I am not turning letting this slide. So I'm just literally walking to the front of the stage. Not like the front, but, but like the gate and the gateway, like how it's blocked off with the security guys and all that. The security guys were throwing glasses. The security guys were throwing um, what do you call it? Cartons of water. 
like little cartons of water, like in a juice form, but like not, like Minimate, but it literally says box of water. So right after that, it was, I literally told one of the security guards, dump a whole carton on my head because I was literally not feeling it yet. So he dumped it on me. I'm just getting like, woo, woo, woo. Getting all the adrenaline back and getting all the hypeness back. So I'm just like, do you want a pair? He just like, you want a pair of glasses? I'm like, sure. I take the glasses. Knowing the fact that, bro, don't take your glasses with you. If yeah, are you if you're prescribed with glasses, do not take them with you. Wear contacts, wear something. But do not take your glasses with you when you're in a crowd. That's the number one rule. Cause you know the moment that monster starts to open up, you're gonna get trampled. So it was right after that. I don't know how to pronounce it. It was six to eight driver's license. I've seen four battery packs, and mine was literally destroyed. Not like destroyed, but like you can see, like it was ripped apart in my bag. And not only it was worth part, cause this is where I couldn't make any videos, no nothing like that for the whole time. My phone got finessed. Like, I literally got pickpocketed, but I, then, then I get a set. I said to myself, like, I'm in Chicago. What the hell am I thinking? So I'm just saying to myself, like, geez. I hope I'm not the only one that's not going through this. And it turns out I wasn't. There were literally almost 102 people who got pickpocketed. Like, I'm not 102, 120. Like, I'm, they were saying I'm not the only one. Literally saying over 100 people came over here saying the exact same thing. Whether it's wallet, whether it's purse, whether it's fanny pack, whether it's, let's see. Whether it's, um. Anyway, y'all already know the gist, so I'm just like. What the, what am I supposed to do? It's like, can't you guys help? I'm like, nope, sorry kid. I'm like, man, whatever. But knowing it, knowing the fact this was the first time. This was the first time. But I got it back though. Now, here's my dumb ass self with the real crazy stuff. So, I got my phone back. Saying, don't lose it again. I won't. I'll put it in my locker. Okay. So I go to my lock. I go to my locker. Put my stuff in there. Then right after that, I went to go see Steve Aoki. Everybody's going crazy. A lot of girls were literally going crazy over there, and I'm just like, a lot of the guys were acting like it's football in here. I'm like, bro. There's girls in here, bro. Calm your ass down. But I'm like, it's a, it's a rave. It's a music festival. What do you expect? So I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna do my thing. Then next thing you know, everybody looks at me and I'm thinking to myself, what the hell is going on? So, I was, but then I get up and go a whole ass meeting in the back of my head saying, is it because I started the mosh pits? Yeah, you just see like, oh, you're a big black dude, you're the one that starts the mosh pit the most, most high. I'm like, chill, I I'm a big black dude, so what the hell? So I just start mosh pit. I start mosh pits every minute, not like every minute, but like every minute the beat is about to drop. So just like at least six times. So I'm just like, hey, it happens, it happens. Recording my st my stuff, and I'm like, okay, this ain't too bad. But no, but now knowing the fact that everybody was stopping the mosh pits because a lot of people started losing their phones. Now it wasn't like. Oh, I lost my phone earlier. No, everybody lost, some of people lost their phones at the exact same time. Oh, 
man, it was. I simmered down a little just to get the setting in and make sure the um, LED lights go through until, okay. So a lot of people were getting finessed at the exact same time. I don't know if it was someone had a person over there, someone had a plan, I don't know, but if someone really thought it was a great idea to steal a lot of people's phones, especially though when they're iPhones, that was the worst part. So I'm just like, okay, someone's about to make a buck out of this. So now I literally make a buck because once they disable that phone, you can't use it for anything. You can't use it for anything. So if you try to sell it, you're done. Now, here's where the crazy stuff happens. Someone was doing major backflips in a little psychedelic suit. And I'm just like, oh, this boy is lit. So when this boy literally tried to do a flip and he fell on his ass, I'm like dying laughing, trying to help him up. But when the, but the worst part is, it was right in the middle of a mosh pit. So when that beat dropped, everybody just like. <sighs> okay, it was. Too much to handle. I mean, then next thing you know, my phone literally gets taken out and ripped out of my back. Like literally, if I didn't show you right here, this is how they literally went through my bag. Rip that thing off. So I'm just like, who took my stuff? And my stuff is literally hanging. My head stuff, my, mm, that's uh, I call it beanie. <laughs> my battery pack and my headphones. I'm like, who who has my phone? So I'm literally stopping the mosh pits, making a big circle, and saying, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Come knowing to myself, probably no one gives it there because they have their phone. So why would they give, give a damn about your phone? So I'm like, okay. This is crazy. So the next thing you know, I run into four to five people. Most of them are girls. Who said the, the exact same thing happened to them? Someone ripped off their bag and literally destroyed their stuff and took their phone. Not only phones, only IDs too. So just like in ransom. That's why I'm like, music festival in Chicago, expect this a lot. So knowing the fact that this happens every year. This happens every year. <sighs> Bitch put like tighter restrictions, like um, show your backpack or something like that. Cause what the hell? Anyway, that's just them getting smart. Uh, uh, that's all I can say. So I lost my phone. I'm there was a huge, huge, huge line at guest services with the exact same problem. And the worst part is it was the, at the exact same concert, the exact same stage. When Steve Aoki was playing, when Cash Cash was playing, the exact same time, they got finessed. 150 people finessed. Uh, okay. I need to calm down. I'm just like. So, I'm literally standing online and just like, if it's off and it's going straight to voicemail, yeah, someone literally turned off your stuff. And I know what my thing was at because I was literally charging it in my backpack just because I wanted to go get a picture of Steve Aoki literally throwing the cake. And I still got the cake shirt, but I just wanted to go get it washed. But knowing the fact, it was a great time. I mean, a lot of people literally got caked on. A lot. He got 10 cakes on deck. And then next thing you know, he just like start. You know when Steve Aoki got that cake. You don't know where he's going. But once he has his sights on you, he goes straight forward like a damn pitcher. Like, you're like, you want this? You want this? Get it. Man. Right after that. It was a great time. I'm like, okay, I'll worry about the phone situation later. Let me just enjoy this because this is my first music festival. And everybody else was losing their phones too. I'm just like, look, 
let's just worry about it the moment's over then let's just enjoy it right now so me and the guys are enjoying it not leaving the guys just like, i'm just met like a lot of people over there who are just around my age i'm just like hey want vibe let's vibe so we just started vibing i know a few guys um cameron what's her other name ashley and there was one hype girl her name was Chantel. Them, they were cute, but they were lit. Let me tell you that they were cute, but they were they were lit. Like when I say lit, I'm talking lit, lit. So anyway, it was like I didn't know what to say about that. I'm just like, hey, it's a music festival, and I'm, I know I said this like over like what five, six times. I'm saying it's a rave. I'm a rave to my grave. That's on point. <sighs> anyway, right after that, went down. Everybody's trying to get their phones. Everybody's trying to get out of here. It's just like a long line. So after that, they literally went through half of the people of that line. And they told the rest of us to go home. Well, if it's here, we'll look for it. If it's not, I'm sorry, you got pickpocketed. So, made my way to the police station to tell them I have no way to get home because I'm literally like, like, uh, like almost halfway a uh, miles away from my house. So I'm just like, I don't even know where to go. So then, they just gave me, they just told me tickets of directions, just gave me a paper with Google Maps directions, word for word, not even the map. I'm like, I was just helping. Come on now. Anyway, I didn't know, I didn't even know what to do. I just like went home, I just like got on the nearest highway and literally just winged it came to myself I knew the exact route I go to because I keep going to family and all that stuff and I'm just like okay if I figure out the right if I figure out the right passage just for going to families because they use certain roads so once I see those roads I know I'm home I literally 30 minutes passed by endless driving on the way home I'm so and here's the thing I was I was literally not able to drive let me tell you that I was not able to drive and I'm saying to myself like thank you God it's 1 30 in the morning and no one's on the highway because I was this close and there was a train passing I was this close to dozing off near a train oh my gosh and i'm just like nope jordan this is not happening again you understand me and not happening again so it was another 45 minutes it took it like an hour and 15 minutes to get from home which was probably like what 30 minutes away so a whole hour of driving and i didn't even know where to go without my phone but I'm like, am I really dependent on my phone like that? So I'm just like, yeah, I am. <sighs> then the next day, went to T-Mobile. They told me stories too about a guy literally getting held by gunpoint just to get their phone. And I'm just like, damn, at least that didn't happen to me. At least someone just took my, my took my phone out of my took my phone out of my backpack and that's it. They didn't shoot me for it. I'm like, I hope it didn't. At least I didn't lose my life. I mean, I'm not gonna just gonna. You can take my phone, but just don't take my life. Let me tell you that I have a lot to live for. So I'm just like, this is a new phone that came out. Yep, it's a 12. So I'm just like, I gotta pay a bigger bill, and now I have to deal with this. So I'm thinking to myself, should I get my phone back? But I'm like, I already deleted it. 
but the stupid thing of me is I didn't save the cloud with all my pictures of Lala, bruh. I deleted that thing and I didn't even save my cloud pictures, bruh. So most of my pictures are gone. So yeah, that was the good and that was the bad of Lala. I had a great time, but I had a bad time as well. So I'm just like, hey, this is what happens when you go to Lala. Well, I'm definitely going next year, but this year, but not this year, next year, I'm bringing a side phone. So if they steal that, I still have my phone. So yeah, I learned my lesson. I learned and now I'm about to evolve into a player of Lala so that's it for story time I hope you guys enjoyed it and I can't even talk right now because I just did way too much talking so I hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like subscribe and you already know what to do and J money is oh woo. oh by the way be sure to hit that discord so because if you guys want more story time or if you guys want any reaction requests you already know what to do you already know what to do anyway to the wolf gang and beyond to this wolf gang and beyond let's go oh, j money is uh, i'm sorry i'm gonna miss j money i'm i know i love saying that but now it's gone Alphanic is out.